This past weekend, I went up to Letchworth State Park and it was a very spontaneous trip. Spontaneous in a way that I was actually not the one planning it. Um, my coworker slash friend said that she was going. She invited me and I just said yes. This trip was really different for me and I'm really excited that I had that experience because it was so different and a lot of firsts for me. So first of all, I had been camping since I was a kid it was also my first road trip with a friend or someone that isn't your partner. We have Denver in the back. Oh, he is looking out the window. Our buddy. <laughs> you made it to the vlog. And we have our mattress that we're gonna sleep in in the car. It's gonna rain tomorrow, so it'll be fine. Maybe. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> and along with going to a new place and exploring, I was really just excited to just get away and do something on my own without my husband because it's actually a rare occasion for me. Of course I love him and I want to do these things with him and we had been planning and trying to do this type of thing for a long time, but it just so happened to work out that I got invited, so I just decided to go. We're currently headed to a waterfall and I see it right now. It is down there. This was also my first time going to a state park that was on this scale. I had no idea that it was going to be so wonderfully organized as far as, you know, you don't have to do a bunch of walking to see all the beautiful sights. You can just drive your car and stop along the side. They have parking lots and you get out and you can take photos. You don't have to wear hiking shoes. That is a choice if you decide to do that. So it was really fun because it was a way to disconnect because there was no service there, so using my map was a lot of fun. I love looking at the map. Hey guys, so we have been driving up and down the park. We've been stopping at a bunch of lookouts. This is one right behind me, and it is so pretty. You can see the really steep side of the gorge. This is the road that we've been driving down. These are the little stop-offs that you just park your car and look out. So we're in the woods, we're about to go on a little hike to see this really cool view. Apparently, old Kat says this is the closest thing she's seen to the Grand Canyon as far as we can see through the trees. So very excited about this first little hike. This looks like it would be a Mario Kart course where like you go up against the side and get those speed ramps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Someone put the hand over here. We are looking at this cool. gorgeous view. The sun is setting. So using this map made me feel like a kid again when you would draw maps or scavenger hunts of some sort. I was very attached to it and it was a lot of fun. And I was over prepared, but I did expect to go on a hike, but on Sunday it did rain, so we didn't do a long hike. We just went and made a couple stops and showed the area to the other people that went because they got there later. We're sleeping in the back of the car. It's gonna be quite cozy in there. Morning guys, it is the next morning and we are about to try to get breakfast. We are at the Glen Iris Inn. people here right now and it's just so nice also listening to the water just run this rush of water that just you don't get to hear all the time um, the stone walls are so pretty and also it was my first time going out into the outdoors with it raining i brought my tivas so i got my feet wet and i was just carefree and didn't worry about it too much. Of course, I had an umbrella because I had a camera. So, we are now on a 
hike. It is raining. I have my hat, my umbrella, my water shoes on because it is wet everywhere. I'm very happy that I brought my teepas with me because it uh, makes things a lot easier because I'm not getting puddles. And I just feel like my feet are not weighed down because I had my boots on before. So definitely a good thing that I did this. Ooh, I think we're here, look out. It just felt so magical. It didn't feel like I was in like around my hometown area, not even hometown, like hours away. If you don't know, I love time period shows. So things that look old and really rustic, I just love. So they had little cabins and these stone tables everywhere. Bathrooms were all over the place, really easy to find. And it just looked like something out of Lord of the Rings. I felt like we were delivering the ring to Mordor. We were on a quest, a very small quest. I have to admit, it's very weird seeing myself with straight hair and viewfinder. I don't feel normal and I feel like my hair is frizzy, so that's that. I haven't gone on many vacations with friends, so this was one that wasn't really a vacation, but to me it felt a little bit like a vacation because there was no service and I didn't have to worry about, you know, doing chores and stuff like that. It was just so refreshing to do. I hope this doesn't freak anyone out, but this past weekend also made me feel like this whole mask situation wasn't happening because no one wore a mask, but we did social distance. You wore a mask when you were going into places and into the restrooms because you're in close contact with people. But yeah, there were people out wearing masks and that was, you know, of course fine, but it really made me feel like we weren't going through the situation that we are in right now. And it just really made me feel grateful because now I'm home and we're back to that. And so I just wanted to share this experience with you guys because it's something that was just so different and it feels like a milestone to me because I've always daydreamed about going on vacations with friends and I haven't done that many of those at all, probably just one, not even a true vacation. And it just makes me feel like I've grown and I just wanted to share it in case, you know, anyone else is feeling this way, socially awkward or feeling like like you don't add to situations or you know we've spent so much time alone that sometimes i know we can forget if people actually care or if they actually like us <laughs> like all these negative thoughts in your head it's all made up and i'm happy that i just said yes and did this because it just proved to myself that i can be social so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this little vlog. I know it was different. And honestly, I don't think I can live with straight hair because it's just weird. And it's nice to see the length, but it's a little puffy right now. So maybe I'll see you with straight hair again. Maybe I won't. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.